Hello there everyone, so it's time for another things to be happy about video and this is going to be my fourth video of this series I believe and in each video I do about 30 little things that put a smile on my face and that make me really happy. So here are my next 30 things for this video. Number one on my list is being complimented on your handwriting. Now, especially if you feel like you have really bad handwriting. This has happened to me a few times. I've been out in public somewhere and I've had to sign something and you know, I'm thinking, oh my God, my handwriting looks awful. And then out of nowhere, this complete stranger tells you your handwriting is really pretty. And it's just something about hearing that that puts a smile on your face and makes you feel really good. And regardless of whether you think that your handwriting is sloppy or whatever, like everyone has something about their handwriting which makes it unique because no one else can write it exactly like them. And then number two on my list is photo booth photos. I know I have talked about photos a lot in my videos. I just love taking pictures, you guys. But it's just something about photo booth photos that sets them apart from, you know, other photos. You go in with your friends and, you know, you make silly faces, you do whatever, and then you get two pictures, one for you to keep and then one to give to your friend. And then you guys can just keep them forever to look back on and hang them up in your room. And it's just so sentimental to me, and I just think it's so cute. Uh, number three on my list is the adrenaline rush of, eight, of, of, of a woman. Oh, <laughs> number three on my list is the adrenaline rush of being on a roller coaster. Now, I went to this amusement park called Kings Island a couple of years ago and I rode one of the biggest roller coasters that they had. And it was so terrifying because it was my first time ever being on a roller coaster. My first time ever riding a roller coaster. I rode like three or four in one day. But this was the biggest roller coaster I had ever rode. And even though it was extremely scary at first, it was also a lot of fun and there's something about riding a roller coaster that just makes you feel alive and like you're, you know, you're, you're fully living life to its fullest. Number four on my list is plugging in your laptop or your phone or whatever right before it dies. That is so satisfying to me, like I honestly love it whenever your iPod or something, you know, it's literally on its last leg. It's on like that red little small bar in your battery. And you know, you plug it in to save its life just in time. Number five on my list is ghost stories. Now, you guys know who I am and what I'm all about. And I love horror and I love scary things. And ever since I was a little kid, I can remember my mom and my dad and my sister and me would all set and we turn all the lights out and we put a flashlight right up to our face and just start telling all these creepy ghost stories. It's something about it that takes me back to my childhood and it doesn't matter how old you are. You're never too old for a good old, you know, old-fashioned ghost story. Uh, number six is an ice cold drink on a really hot summer day. Oh my god, it is so satisfying whenever, you know, you're really thirsty, your mouth's real dry, and it's really hot outside, and you take that first sip of ice cold water, or whatever it may be, I love that feeling. There's not a better feeling in my opinion. And the number seven on my list is falling asleep after you've had a good cry. Now, nobody likes it when they get really upset and, you know, they're bawling their eyeballs out. We've all been there. But have you guys ever noticed that right after you've had a really good cry, your body just naturally gets sleepy and so you lay down and you fall asleep and you sleep like a baby afterwards and it's almost like your body is telling you, okay, you've had enough, you can relax now, everything's going to be okay. Okay, number eight on my list is butterflies in your tummy, whether it be with a new crush, whether it be 
you know, a new job, whatever it is, I just love the feeling of being really excited about something and you feel that little flutter in your tummy. So number nine on my list is jack-o'-lanterns. <laughs> you guys know, I have to throw something with Halloween in every single one of these videos pretty much. But I love carving jack-o'-lanterns. I think it's a lot of fun to do and I love the look of jack-o'-lanterns on Halloween. They are like the main symbol of Halloween for me. And I just love seeing them on people's porches around Halloween time. I just think they're so cute. Okay, next on my list is whenever a guy loans you his coat when it's gotten cold outside. I just think it's so cute and it has happened to me like, I want to say at least two times before, um, that they are willing to freeze just so you won't. Like it's just, it's adorable, you know? Whatever happened to kind gestures like that, do they still exist? Uh, next on my list is smooth, freshly shaven legs. If you're a guy, then you might not fully, you know, get to experience this unless you're into that sort of thing, which there's nothing wrong with that if you are, um, but there's no better feeling than having like freshly cleaned bed sheets and then you just got out of the shower. You just got out of the shower, you freshly shaven. You just got out of the shower, your legs are freshly shaven and they're so smooth. They feel like butter, you know, and you, you rub them up against each other. It's just, a, it's a really good feeling for a woman. Next on my list is whenever a baby smiles at you, especially whenever it's a random baby. I just think it's so cute. Like you could be having the worst possible day and then you'll be out in the store and then a little baby will just look at you and get a big grin across its face. Like it's just so sweet and I love that feeling. Next on my list is the smell from cookouts. I love the summertime and being outside and you know you go for a walk or you're sitting out on your porch and all of a sudden you just get this big whiff of like food being cooked from your neighbor's house. <sighs> That's like the sweet smell of summertime to me. Next on my list is your croaky morning voice. I know a lot of people don't like this but I think it's so cute. Like and anyone whenever they first woke up and they have like that little like croaky sound in their voice it's just adorable to me my camera's moving you guys know the drill my cat's on my bed <laughs> um the next thing on my list is making out with someone after you've gotten into a fight with them especially if it's a loved one you know and you got into an argument with them it's so refreshing to say i'm sorry and i love you and you know, realizing that you don't have to worry anymore because you two are no longer fighting. Okay, and then next on my list is Sky Lanterns. Now, I recently just started doing these. I believe it was like two years ago I first let them off. And they're a little scary if you live around like, you know, woods and trees and houses, which who doesn't? They're also like a really beautiful, magical thing. Like, I love letting them off and then, you know, just getting to watch them. I don't know, it just reminds me of Tangled. And <laughs> you guys ever seen that, Tangled, the Disney movie? And it's just so pretty. And like, the next thing on my list is the satisfaction of scratching an itch that you've had for a really long time. Especially whenever you've just painted your nails or something and then you get an itch like on your head or something and you cannot itch it because your nails are still wet and then your nails finally dry and you're just like... <laughs> the following thing on my list is cute little sundresses. Now, I know I don't look like much of a dress person. Um, because I'm into horror and all this other stuff. I live in sweatpants and comfortable clothing, pretty much. But in the summertime, I love dressing up. I love putting on pretty little sundresses. They make me feel so good about myself. I just think they're so cute to wear. Like, cool for you in the summertime, to cool you down. Next on my list is cute underwear. <laughs> now, I know. No one else is going to be able to see it but yourself or your partner, I don't know, whatever kind of lifestyle you may be into. It is a way of making yourself feel really good. I mean, even though no one else is going to see them, it makes you feel good to know that you have like a cute pair of underwear on. Or is it just me? I don't know. I feel really good whenever I have a brand new pair of cute underwear. The following thing is having something to look forward to. 
and you know it comes to pass especially I love having something that I can count down the days for and I have like so much excitement for and that's something that I feel like we should all have like all the time no I don't think that we should let that take away like the excitement of the present moment I feel like we should all live in the present moment but I think it's nice to have something to look forward to whenever you know you're going through a really rough time it's really refreshing to have that hope another thing on my list is emojis I cannot text or send a message to any one of my friends without being able to put an emoji into that message and if you're like myself and you grew up in like the AOL kids chat room days and you know they didn't have like the emoji emojis that they have nowadays actually they kind of did because like you could change it to whatever you wanted I don't know I'll post a picture cute and like how can you really express yourself without them you know and then another thing that I feel like we all love to hear is are be careful or drive safe or call me when you get there or here in West Virginia it's watch out for deer <laughs> that's like another way of saying I love you to whoever is going out another little thing that I'm sure we're all grateful for all of us ladies or men um, is being asked to dance like say you're at a party and you're thinking you know no one no one wants to dance with me you know I'm just sitting over here by myself you know someone surprises you and they come up to you and they're like hey would you like to dance that's such a cute feeling like I love that another thing that I'm sure we can all be happy about is tacos who doesn't love tacos I love me some tacos I could live on tacos and then the following thing is fresh haircuts I love the feeling of a fresh haircut that has been long overdue you haven't had your haircut in a while you have plenty of dead ends split ends you know it's another way of taking care of yourself and your body another thing that I really love is lava lamps I just think that they're so cute and they remind me of my childhood I think that they're really cool to look at and they add a nice little feature to your room and then the next on my list is soft blankets on, you know, a really cold winter day or something. Um, you know, you cuddle up under this really soft fuzzy blanket and you don't want to leave because it's just so warm and inviting. I have so many. <laughs> Handwritten messages and greeting cards. I think it's so cute whenever you open up a birthday card or, you know, a thank you card or something like that and you just get this sweet little message from your friend or family member that just gives me more reason to keep the cards and not just toss them and throw them away I'm a hoarder of birthday cards and stuff like that that I get from my friends because they took the time to find a card especially for you and it's like why would you want to throw that away you know like they spent their money on you finding you this card so one of the next things on my list is flip-flops. I love in the summertime when I'm in a hurry to go somewhere and I don't feel like putting on, you know, actual shoes and I just, those are so um, good for that reason. Like you can just slip them on and then walk out the door. And I love that little um, flip-flop sound that it makes whenever you walk, <laughs> which is where I'm sure they've got their name. And also like, it's a way of airing out your feet so they aren't smelly or anything in the summer and then the last thing on my list was whenever a stranger holds the door open for you it's just a nice and kind gesture those were my 30 things in this video of things to be happy about I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give me a big old thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you have not already and become a morbid maniac and feel free to comment any little things that I might not have mentioned in this video, which are things that you can be happy about or that put a smile on your face. And I may mention them in my next Things to be Happy About video. I love you guys and I will see you guys in my next video.